What's going on guys? It's your boy Shade here. You guys have shown me so much support on my last reaction video that I decided to do another reaction video. So today we're reacting to Modern Warfare 2 Season 2 and how abysmal it is. Like, I, I went ahead and blurred everything out on the image that is not new surprise surprise all the new things are in warzone 2 which is really sad also if you're curious about the background gameplay i am playing in masters i got to masters which is really cool look at the win rate on this i did really well but yeah back to the topic at hand here modern warfare 2 the paid version where you get multiplayer and a bunch of other things literally nothing is new except for the raid I don't know about you guys, but personally, I don't even care about the raids. I have a raid ticket. I just never got a couple friends to do it with me because, you know, you're just fighting against bots and doing little puzzles. And, you know, the concept is actually pretty cool, but I'm not there to fight against bots. I want to play against real players, which is why I'm playing ranked right now in COD Mobile. Starting out from the top here, we got ranked play. Now, ranked play is supposed to be normal <laughs> i don't know why we're getting it for season two we should have got it a lot earlier but we finally get ranked play oh oh just stunned we're getting dome which is a remake and dome was actually in vanguard last year so why are we getting it again this year we're getting museum which was a beta map not a brand new map this is what's confusing right they are touting these as brand new right never seen in modern warfare 2 technically you're right however museum was a beta map anyway so why is that even considered a new dlc map when it was supposed to be on release and that's gotten me thinking actually isn't that technically like a lie because museum was supposed to be a part of the full release and now they're considering museum as a dlc map which is really weird and kind of scummy if you ask me because it was supposed to be within the game like it's a part of the game at least for the full release then we're getting Al Malik International Battle Map and then Zaya Battle Map. These aren't even new because they were in Warzone. They're just, you know, slices of it for Ground War, which is really lazy. I don't understand that. Moving on to the new modes here, we got Infected, Gun Game, Grind, Drop Zone, All or Nothing, and One in the Chamber. Staple game modes within Call of Duty for years, which aren't new at all. All of those game modes have existed way in the past. And now I'm thinking about it. How is Infected supposed to work? Because of the perk system they have in the game where it charges over time, how are they supposed to give the survivors their perks while they survive longer and longer and eventually get the specialist perk or the bonus perk that you normally get when you survive the longest and do really good at the game? That's going to be really confusing and I'm super curious on how they're going to do that because they already screwed the game mode over with their current perk system. Moving on to weapons, operators, and more, we got the weapons, which is the ISO Hemlock, which apparently a lot of people are saying is actually the ACR. We got the KV broadside shotgun, we've got the crossbow, the katanas here, and then finally we've got the marksman rifle, which is supposed to be a semi-auto. Then we got new operators, new skins, those guys aren't new, Rose has been in Mono Warfare 2019, I don't know why they keep bringing her back over and over again we got nova we got daniel all you know not new like oh there's a new bundle in the shop i gotta get it because it looks cool no nobody gives a shit. why is that even there so we're only getting one new map you know new i'd say that with air quotes we're only getting one new map so it doesn't make any sense on why you tell any of this as new it's none of it's new the only thing I can truly believe here is like DMZ actually looks like they got some pretty cool things going for them right now. Uh, you know, that's DMZ and it's another free piece of Modern Warfare that you didn't have to pay for. And most of the players right now are really upset that they paid $70 or the $100 Vault Edition bundle and they're getting nothing new. We are finally in the next season expecting new things after these long and dry months of just nothing in season one. And they even took two extra weeks to make season two just to get literally nothing it's honestly really depressing that's why i'm sticking with cod mobile honestly cod mobile is just way better there is so much content to explore that probably isn't new to you guys but is new to me and then they also get frequent updates i've been updating the app every single time i boot the game up <laughs> so it's like why would i stick with a game like this that isn't going to give me anything new even when it's touted as new 
when I could stick with COD Mobile and have some fun. So, we're staying with COD Mobile, boys. We're staying with COD Mobile. That's enough about Season 2 Modern Warfare 2. It's obviously garbage. We all know this, and a lot of people are boycotting it. If you do own the game and you do like the game, please try not to buy the Battle Pass or even the bundles. We're not buying anything in that game. It's not even worth it. I might actually just start spending money in COD Mobile when I actually have some money for it. Alright, that's enough for me. We're going to go straight into some Search and Destroy here. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, I couldn't find any more games up in master rank, so we are playing in pubs. However, I did have fun still, and I'm pretty sure there were players on my team and the enemy team. So, I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get right into it. Now, I do have a question for you guys. What's your opinions on the ICR? Is it even meta, for instance? Because I don't even know if it's a meta, but it, it plays nice. It feels good. It's very consistent. I like the gun. <laughs> I think it's good, in my opinion. Pass that mid. Enemy down. Double back towards this. Is there anybody the around? Okay, teammates are all dying over there. Contact with enemy. Two of them. UAV nice. We got them. <laughs> I really do appreciate all of you guys like welcoming me to the community like I feel so welcome being here you know Destroy you guys are just objective. unbelievably the best <laughs> you really are especially for like a new player like myself who doesn't normally play Call of Duty uh, mobile it's still nice to be able to learn things and you guys are teaching me so many things in the comments which means a lot to me Gotta grab bomb. We got the bomb. I'm gonna go plant B, boys. I'm planting B. Where are the other two at? I want their skin. I want them, bro. Oh. Enemy in sight. UAV oh, recon yeah. standing by. Repeat. UAV recon yeah, standing by. Coming for you. Reloading. Let's go this way. Contact. Got him. I heard him, but I couldn't tell if he was in the that round. building right there on, that I'm staring at or if he was to the right. So I took a gamble and assumed he was in the uh, the opening there. I got a good guess on that one. <laughs> Destroy the objective. Bomb acquired. I'm going to toss Nate over the top just like right. usual. Toss a little flash Flash grenade. Nice teammate. Appreciate that. I kind of missed a couple shots there. Nice. Good job, team. Good job. Do you guys have any suggestions for how I could find matches easier, by the way? Because I was honestly sitting there for about an hour and a half, two hours, not finding a single soul. It was hurting my feelings. It's like, shit, I just ruined the only fun I was having. Because I was having a ton of fun. UAV recon ready for deployment. Slaughter them all. Nice. Good job, team. Easy W. But yeah, if you guys have suggestions to fix that issue so I can actually find lobbies and players, that would be so helpful to me because I'm in Masters now and I can't find a soul. I can't find anyone in ranked. It's unfortunate, really, because I was having so much fun. It is incredible. But that's going to about do it for this video. I'm sorry it was mostly pubs, but I did get one ranked TDM match in at least, okay? So I tried my best. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Much love. Oh man, but if I had the money though, I would totally buy this in a heartbeat.